So we got Mr. E versus Frozen. There's a matchup we have seen quite a bit. But uh, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Uh, hmm. These are both characters who are like pretty skittery. Uh, <laughs> just, a, just a bunch of bunch of spiders coming at you. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, they can definitely like really slobber knock each other. Like, it's kind of scary. Yeah. At the same time, also when it comes to players and play style, uh, Frozen probably his movement is his best attribute as a player. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. That? The Frozen definitely likes to take advantage of as many movement options as he has. Uh, you know, some and of the best things you can do is not press the button and just like freak out your opponent. Yeah, and that's the sort of thing where movement is really good against sorties because they have so much that's safe on shield because of their big disjoint, but technically nothing in the game is safe on win. Yeah, so, for the most part, yeah. Well, yeah, but it's like if you can force out the sortie, force the sortie into mm -hmm. whipping, that it just ends up leading to such an effective game plan against them. Solid up tilt, not quite doing the job just yet. 79% on Mr. E. Oh, that's gone. I was going to say Frozen really needs to stay alive because the Rage would have really helped with closing out a stock. As it stands right now, ooh, it's going to, yeah, you see, he had to go for a big commitment like that down smash, which Mr. E was able to punish. Went for kind of a modest punish on that lift up B. I don't think he has a jump. Recognizing that goes way out there. Really smart from Frozen. Just seeing the limitations in his opponent's options and punishing accordingly. This now is a very even game. But we saw how that first stock, the early part of it at least, went pretty decisively to Mr. E. So doesn't feel like that's happening again this time, though. These hits that Mr. E are getting are not these big combo starters or, you know, putting Frozen in a really bad spot. They're just kind of lightly tapping him, and he's able to keep his neutral game alive, even throughout it. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, holds on to his jump. Really smart for Mr. E. And great tech. Oh, he misses that one, though. That could have actually been the stock, but went for the safer punish of forward tilt as opposed to forward smash. And that back air is actually going to connect and finish him off. I actually really like that. You notice he went for a lot of these down tilts, opting for tech chases, like a much safer way of uh, engaging against Frozen. And it really paid off. Oh, low percent up tilt from us. You see, that's just so scary. Frozen doesn't need too much percent, but nonetheless, he's already at 36. Taking the stock is of utmost importance. A forward air is not enough. He's off stage. Can he actually complete this ledge trap right here? Oh, he dashes back at dodging the neutral air, but wasn't able to actually go back and punish it in time. And now Mr. E is back to neutral. And he's moving around that forward air, sorry, the neutral air right there, able to put him in the corner. And it leads to all this other damage. I guess he got hit. What? <laughs> Did he extend his hurt box into that? It was like the last hit of that explosive flame was what connected, but it was all Frozen needed. And here come the neutral airs. This could be really big for him. But he respects the defensive options from Mr. E and doesn't try and chase him down. On the one hand, like, that can be really good. You know, Lucina does have up B and things to really combo break. But at the same time, you need to be getting as much off of your hits as possible. And the difference between respect and fear is basically whether or not it actually works. He's no jump! But the up be enough to make it. He is so close to taking this game right now. Mr. E putting him on the ledge. A beautiful upwards recovery there, right there. Still Frozen has not found that big hit to put him in a little bit of stage control. I like that ledge attack, but will it 
Oh, this is that big opening. He's actually missing some of these punishes. Trying to keep his distance means that he's not actually able to capitalize on every opportunity that Mystery is actually giving him. But the ledge, whoa, I love that. Actually goes past that platform on purpose. Doesn't get the ledge cancel. And now we're actually looking at a minute 45 on the clock. Probably not gonna be relevant, but right there as I say it, that's gonna be the game. And up tilt finally at 140 percent if we get that replay what exactly happened right there oh he just did he spot dodge or did he just barely miss a dash attack yeah can we get this replay so definitely frozen went for this dash attack instead he just avoided it barely barely all right here it is back air retreats yeah, he spot dodged it. That was a bit of an overzealous reaction from Frozen. You know, just because just because they hit your shield doesn't mean you can actually punish. All right, game two is that game one was super close, and game two is gonna be on FD now. I honestly think that compared to PS2, this probably is better for Lucina, just because. Uh, Palu can't do like back air off of the platforms and doesn't have the platform extensions on the neutral air combos. But this was Frozen's counter pick. I guess he wants to be a, did, did, uh, wait, wait, what? Did he just like push him away with the, the grab didn't work? <laughs> That'd be neat. Mr. E is trapped on ledge right here. Ah, oh, but it's. You see that when Mr. E puts Frozen on the ledge, he gets all of this damage, and it's just not quite equivalent. Oh, that could be really big, though. No ledge invincibility. That time doesn't respect the hitbox on that Dolphin Slash. Mr. E closes out that first stock by that nice, aggressive forward air. That was something I don't think we've really seen from him. He's mainly been a little more patient where he hits the opponent and then just stays on the ledge right there. And so I think that Frozen wasn't quite ready for the aggressive forward air closing things out. And wow, recognizing the panic shield goes in and gets a grab, 48% already onto Frozen. And it's stock, not quite. That forward smash was huge. And that's the, that might be the game right there. That's the two framing the upbeat. Mystery is looking fantastic right now. Oh, never mind. Mr. E is looking like Garbo. I don't know what that SD was. <laughs> no, no, Mr. E is still pretty doing all right for himself right here. Definitely Frozen has potential to bring this game back, but he cannot really, he can't play scared like he was in game one. It did keep him alive, but there were a couple of really pivotal moments that he just missed out on because he was keeping too much of a distance. All right, there's better dash attack when you run up pivot F tilt that we've seen in Mark have access to. Such, such a good burst option. This is Frozen's last stock here, 82%. That back throw, a bit of questionable DI, but he was able to survive nonetheless. Mr. E is able to do more and more damage. Stuck on ledge, we've seen how bad this can be. Manages to get out with that really creative up B, but oh, that up smash was frames away from connecting. This is thrown since winner's stock right here. F took closing out that stock. It's one to one right now, but definitely it's uphill for Frozen if he wants to still keep himself alive here. But these are the big combos that might do it. Oh, yeah, she went for that dash attack. Must pay dearly for it. This could be big. Interesting, goes for a dash attack to back air. That's some solid damage. Up tilt out of the spot dodge is not enough, but the up air to chase him down. Really good stuff from Mr. E. Closing the set out 2-0 and guaranteeing himself a spot in winner's finals where he faces off against the winner of the upcoming match, which is gonna be Mr. Mr. Venia and John Numbers.